know, in the city of Cleveland, one in every 10 babies is born prematurely, and it can lead to a very difficult and long term health issues. And that's why uh, groups like uh, the March of Dimes are so important in the fight for the health of mothers and their children. Joining me this morning is the Pellegrini family, who are no strangers of the pearls of premature births. Good morning. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. see you guys. Thank you. And uh, welcome to Fox 8 News in the morning. And uh, you, your story is absolutely amazing. First of all, introduce yourself and your two sons. Okay, I'm Christine Pellegrini, and my uh, twin sons, Adrian and Andrew, are 17. 17 years old. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take it. They were pre. They were preemies. They they were. They were. And now they're, now they were yeah. like six two. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, you wouldn't know it. So, yeah. so take us back to the very beginning. So yeah, about 17 and a half years ago, um, they were born 12 and a half weeks early, and uh, we're, we were born. Um, Early had some issues we mm -hmm. needed to um, deal with. Um, we had um, a, quite a long stay in the NICU. Yeah. Uh, we were there almost three months. How 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 how, how small were they when they were? Um, Andrew was actually two pounds thirteen ounces, which was was big for twenty seven and a half weeks, I guess. Wow. And Adrian was two pounds four ounces. My goodness gracious! Yeah. So what was life like back then? And, and as a mother, man, what did you have to? What did you go through? It 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 was. It, sort of um, surreal yeah, at yeah. the moment and you know it's a it's sort of we always say it's a club you never look to be a part of but all of a sudden you're thrown into yeah, yeah. Um, so navigating <clears throat> everything in the NICU from you know the terminology mm -hmm. the sounds of all the monitors mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was very overwhelming yeah I would imagine that there, there was there were fears that, that you and your husband had to deal with huh? yes um, you know getting the phone calls you know, if dur any time during the day or yeah, night to, yeah. to give us updates, yeah. and some good, some not so good. Yeah. Um, certainly had a lot of successes, yeah. um, but a number of setbacks, and it, it was very, um, you know, on edge for yeah. three months. Now, now, you guys are, I mean, you guys are, well, you're 12th grade now, yeah. and just, uh, just for comparison, stand up. I just want you guys <laughs> to stand up. So this, this is what happens, you know, <laughs> when, when you're born uh, prematurely. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, so you guys are doing wonderful, doing fine right now. Now. So, yeah. uh, all right. Uh, tell me, tell me about your life. What, what's your future? What, what's the future hold for you? So, um, man, where do I start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So right now, I mean, twelfth grade's going great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I have a lot of friends. I've like the three years I've been in Cleveland. It's been yeah, great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right now, I've been college is coming up. Yeah. And I've always been fascinated with like how the body works yeah. and you know the biology of everything. But I also really want to just help people. Like, you want to be a doctor or something like that? Yeah, like go in the medical field. Excellent. And, um, Excellent. Yeah. yeah. That's it. What, what about you? Yeah, so I've always been uh, fascinated with sports and hockey in particular for me. Uh -huh. And uh, I've always wanted to know like how the team operates. Right, and right, I want to go right. into that sort of field. and. Yeah sports business yeah. in hockey. Proof positive that, uh, you know, that even though you're born prematurely with the help of organizations like the March of Dives, yes. yeah. you can have big, big, big men. Yeah. <laughs> it's a huge... Yes, yes. Talk, talk about the March yep. of Dives and your connection to them. Sure. Um, when we... Um, graduated from the NICU, my mm -hmm. husband and graduated I. Graduated from the NICU? Yes. Mm -hmm. We decided, we, we felt so strongly about the care that we received, yeah. the nurses, the doctors, yeah. the therapists, and we said, what can we do to be a part of yeah. how this has changed our lives? Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, a, a local hospital to us was just starting up. Okay. Uh, March of Dimes chapter was supporting a family support mm -hmm. program in their hospital. So we had the opportunity to go in and do a parent-to-parent -parent support group and actually sit with parents in the, currently in the NICU mm -hmm. and um, answer any questions they had and just be there emotionally for them. And, and you are the ambassador family this year for the March of Dimes Signature Chefs event, which they do every year. It's a major fundraiser for this organization that uh, really, really does wonderful, wonderful work. It's going to be held Thursday, November 18th at 5.30 Landry Haven, Mayfield Heights. Uh, for many, many years, I've been involved with it along with Christy Capel. We're going to be the MCs that night. And just a wonderful, wonderful night. Uh, the chefs are incredible. They have, you know, it's a, it's, you just kind of go around the, the, the venue and just 
test all the taste all the food and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Just a wonderful, wonderful event. And once again, it, it supports a great cause, the absolutely. March of Dimes. They, they do such a wonderful job. They do, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. And mm -hmm. good luck, yeah. guys, in college. Your last year in high school, mm -hmm. good luck yes. in college. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. And we will see you guys on the next Thursday. Sounds at good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Thank you.